year in the second week of August, people from all around gather at the world capital of old time mountain music, Galax, Virginia, to take part in the old Fiddler's Convention. It's just a tradition, I guess, started back uh, 1935. A lot of the mu musicians come and they spend their whole week here and renew old acquaintance with friends that have the same interest of bluegrass and old time music. And there's plenty of music to go around. Last year, around 2,000 bands and musicians, even youngsters, competed on stage in 13 categories. They can compete in the bluegrass, old-time banjo, old-time fiddle, bluegrass fiddle, dulcimer, auto harp, dobro, and folk song and flatfoot dancing. And if that's not enough, the campgrounds are full of bands and musicians plucking and practicing, getting ready for the next performance. Well, these people come just to walk around through there after the sun goes down and it gets cool enough to get, come out and play and listen to the bands practicing back there. It's a continual jam back through there. A lot of the uh, music's in the jam sessions. Jam sessions go on just about all day and all night long for seven, seven days. People travel across the country and the world for this competition, or just to attend the event. Well, they come from right here in Galax. They come down from Florida, California, several foreign countries, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia. In a one-horse town, out the back of nowhere. Music inspires intense passion. It really does, and our little festivals are smaller than this, of course, but they have that same indefatigable desire to stay up all night and just play until you, you, you're falling over, really, because nobody wants it to stop. And after 75 years, the Old Fiddler's Convention continues to grow, carrying on the musical traditions of our region. People know that we want to have a good family event and, and it's good, clean entertainment and just a lot of fun. And especially these young musicians, these children running around that are going to be future musicians to help keep this Old Fillers Convention and bluegrass and old time music alive. It's too easy to let the past fade away. I like old time music and bluegrass music. I've tried to play a little of it myself, and i got two sons involved in it, and i just like to see it keep going. Support for On the Crooked Road was provided by the Appalachian Regional Commission, with additional support from these sponsors.